Good day everyone. I, Manoshka Dinez, will be presenting on the topic Electrolytes from Ionic Equilibrium Chapter. I'll be talking about strong, moderate and weak electrolytes. You must have come across the word conductor. What do you understand by the word conduct? It basically means transfer of something. So materials that transfer something to themselves is known as a conductor. And those substances in which flow of electricity is carried by the movement of positive ion and negative ion is known as an electrolytic conductor. The electrolytic conduction happens due to the movement of free ions having different charges which move towards oppositely electrodes that are cathode and an anode and they form a conductor of electricity. For example, metal like copper, silver, etc. In order to conduct electricity with the help of freely mobile and charged ion, we require a substance. And that chemical substance that conducts electricity in an equal state is known as an electrolyte. So, what is an electrolyte? It is defined as a substance which in the form of its solution or in its few state conducts electricity and simultaneously undergoes decomposition. In other words, electrolytes are those chemical compounds that could break down into ions and conduct electricity throughout the aqueous solution. For example, zinc sulfate dissociate to give zinc ion plus sulfate ion. What is a non-electrolyte? Non-electrolytes may be defined as a substance which in the form of their solution on their molten state do not conduct electricity. For example, all organic compounds such as glucose, methyl alcohol, ethyl alcohol, ether, pure water, glycerol, etc. These organic compounds, they readily dissolve in water but because it do not dissociate inside the solution into ions it is considered as a non-electrolyte. On what basis are electrolytes for the divider? On their ability to conduct and movement. If we move towards the nature of electrolytic substance, they are classified as strong, moderate and weak electrolytes. Electrolytes on the basis of degree of dissociation and solute characteristics they are further classified as strong, weak, true and potential electrolytes. Based on degree of dissociation, strong electrolytes dissociate completely into ions in solution. Hence, they are good conductors in solution and have a high degree of ionization, for example, hydrochloric acid. Whereas in weak electrolyte dissociate to only a small extent and give less a number of ions. Hence, they are poor conductors and have a degree of ionization less than one. For example, acetic acid. What is a strong electrolyte? It is a substance that gives a solution in which almost all molecules are ionized. The solution is called a strong electrolyte. Such solutions are good conductors of electricity and have a high value of equivalent conductance even at low concentration. The strong electrolytes are further classified as the strong acids, for example, hydrochloric acid, the strong bases, for example, calcium hydroxide, and the salts. Practically all salts, for example, sodium chloride, are strong electrolyte. Salt have a low solubility in water because Whatever it dissolves in water, it is said to be completely ionized. Hence, they are considered as a strong electrolyte. For example, nitric acid in an aqueous state dissociates to give hydrogen ion plus nitrate ion. What is a weak electrolyte? It is a substance that gives a solution in which only a small proportion of the solid molecules are ionized. Such a solution is called a weak electrolytic solution that has a low value of equivalent conductance. The weak electrolytes are further classified as the weak acids. All organic acids such as acetic acid, 
oxalic acid sulfurous acid are example of weak electrolyte the weak bases most organic bases for example alkyl amines a weak electrolyte a few salts such as mercuric chloride lead acetate are weak electrolyte for example ammonium hydroxide in aqueous state dissociate to give ammonium ion plus hydroxide ion the ionization of weak electrolyte is represented with a double headed arrow suggesting the reaction is reversible what is a moderate electrolyte these are those substances which exhibit an intermediate behavior between a strong and a weak electrolyte electrolytes when dissolve in water ionize or dissociate 50% may be called a moderate electrolyte for example trichloroacetic acid now let us solve some mcq question on strong moderate and weak electrolyte so let us look at the first question at 90 degrees celsius ph of an aqueous solution of a strong electrolyte is 7 what is the nature of a strong electrolyte the options are as follows a neutral b basic c acidic d cannot a strong electrolyte dissociate completely in an aqueous solution and since the ph given to us is 7 the electrolyte is neutral the solution is neutral due to uniform distribution of positive and negative ion so the correct option is a neutral Question two: Which answer choice best describes the diagram? The options are as follows: A. Solution A is a strong electrolyte, and solution B is a non-electrolyte. B. Solution A is a weak electrolyte, and solution B is a strong electrolyte. C. Solution A is a strong electrolyte, and solution B is a weak electrolyte. D. Solution A is a non-electrolyte, and solution B is a weak electrolyte. as seen in the figure solution a the electrolytes are completely dissociated into positive and negative ion whereas in solution b the electrolytes are partially dissociated into positive and negative ion so the correct option is c where solution a is a strong electrolyte and solution b is a weak electrolyte question 3 Which of the following can be classified as a strong electrolyte? The options are as follows: A, bromine; B, glucose; C, calcium chloride; D, water; 3, nitrate. Any substance which dissociates to form ions can be termed as an electrolyte. Calcium chloride in an aqueous solution dissociates to give one calcium and two chloride ions. that is from calcium chloride a total of 3 ions are formed hence it can be classified as a strong electrolyte the strong electrolyte dissociate completely in the solution here only calcium chloride is the only compound which completely dissociate question 4 which of the following best summarizes the figure the options are as follows a only ax is an electrolyte b both ay and az are electrolytes ax is not c both ax and ay are non electrolyte az is an electrolyte d only az is an electrolyte as seen in the figure ax there's no dissociation of positive and negative ion in ay there is a partial dissociation of positive and negative ion and in az there is a complete dissociation of positive and negative ion hence the correct option is b both ay and az are electrolytes and ax is not question 5 all organic acid except sulfonic acid are dash electrolyte the options are as follows a weak b strong c not d neither strong no weak electrolyte which dissociate into a lesser extent in an aqueous solution are called weak electrolyte all organic except sulfonic acid 
and bases like ammonia, ammonium hydroxide, amine, etc. are weak electrolyte. So, the correct option is A, weak. So, all organic acid except sulfonic acid are weak electrolytes. So, with this, I conclude the topic on strong, moderate and weak electrolyte. Thank you for watching.